Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper and today I've got a problem. A number of my watermelons have just split open. If you take a peek at that, you will realize we have a problem here. Look at that. It's doing so well, starting to grow, and all of a sudden, boom, popped open. Now in the background, you may hear a few of my sheep. I apologize for that haven't trained them to be quiet but if you guys think you know what happened here pause this video quick in the comment section below you tell me the reason that you think this split and if you're a little embarrassed that you might guess something foolish and then everyone will see it later remember you can always go back and edit it and just change it to a nice video thank you here's another little one split right open still when it was young a big one over there also blew up like this. So with a lot of things, when you're growing a garden, you're gonna need a number of things. Plants need things like sunlight, plants need things like water, plants need things like uh, minerals and different elements and stuff. Um, nitrogen, for instance, is good for plants. However, if you get too much of a good thing, it can kill them. Too much of a good thing is exactly what happened here. There's a couple main causes for a watermelon splitting open. Sometimes you can have a certain variety that is just known for cracking open. It's known for just not having a, a high likelihood of getting every fruit perfectly formed and looking nice by the time that they're ripe. That's not the case here. This was one of the most disappointing ones because it was so big. Thankfully, I can still use it as chicken food, and it even looks like there may be some viable seeds in here. But what happened here is that we had too much water too quickly. This can happen to a number of different plants when you're getting your actual, you know, ripe fruit, and you get too much water, and all of a sudden it just ruptures your fruit right open. It's sad but it does happen and it's what we're dealing with here. Sometimes if you have kind of like a long season of really dry weather and then out of nowhere you get like some heavy rains, that can happen. Sometimes you may just be watering it too much for the plant to handle. The plant's not able to absorb all of that moisture uh, to a way that it can handle it all. What it does suck up, all that extra stuff starts going to the fruit. The fruit's not able to grow quick enough, and all of a sudden, boom. And you can see, you know, that is definitely wet and juicy. And this one kind of caught me off guard because I've really been watching these when these first two split. You can see this one split a while ago. This one, too, not exactly a recent happening like this pretty, beautiful one here that just blew up. On the bright side, I still do have a nice looking one on this uh, vine. Got some other vines as well. But I wanted to warn some of you guys before you had something like this happen. You know, with a name like watermelon, you might be thinking, oh yeah, water, that's good. Not always gonna be the case as we see here. So like I said, this one is still looking really nice. I do have some other vines as well. But one other way that, um these guys can split open is heat. If you get too much heat, they can just explode too and crack open. Not, you know, explode, but they can burst. They can crack open. Um, some people use like a shade cloth or plant these under a tree or something along that lines where we are providing shade to reduce the amount of heat they can get. Another one is mulch. If you have a nice mulch that you can mulch the top of, you know, wherever you're growing them with, 
to help absorb some of the moisture, that moisture evaporating, causing the heat, adding stress to the plant is not gonna be as big of an issue. So hopefully that helped. Don't make the same mistakes I did on this one. I'm trying to warn you to save you guys the heartache that I'm going through right now. I'll see you next time. Papa out.